Hey, what's going on, gamers? My name is Tonic, and welcome to episode two of Getting Good, where, I, where I'm playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, trying to get good for the next stream. Thank y'all for being here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the last episode. Uh, right now, I'm just sitting here chilling out before I get ready for my stream tonight at 7 o'clock. This is the stream where we uh, create our own Super Mario Maker 2 map. It's the first one I've ever created, so hope you guys had fun. Should should be fun. I'm getting a little coffee in me because I need the caffeine. And because um, it's going to be stressful. It's going to be stressful building a map. I'm kind of worried about it, but we shall see. By the way, this coffee is awesome. It's Redhead Rum from Expedition Roasters. Very delicious. Expedition Roasters sponsors. You can't read that. It's just backwards, but Redhead Rum. They sponsor our podcast, the Disney Tonic Podcast. And you can get 15% off by going to ExpeditionRoasters.com. Type in the code BRIARPATCH, B-R-I-A-R-P-A-T-C-H, and you get 15% off your coffee purchase. Let's go check them out. All right. That plug is brought to you by Disney Tonic Podcast. Check the link right down in the description. All right, well, guys, hope you're doing all right. Hope you had a great Thursday. Mine was good. Mine was good. Going back to 50 CCs, we're going to go back to Wario. By the way, I've moved over to this side of the screen because AV Skills rightfully pointed out that I was covering up the power-ups. So, yeah, fix that. And uh, Barefoot Grimlin brought up something in the comments on the last video um, about the stats on these vehicles. Now, I'm not going to fool with them right now, but I need to look into that. I need to look into the stats, the handling, and things like that. All right, so next one we're going to play is the Shell Cup. We're going to go ahead and do the Shell Cup 50 CCs. I don't expect this to be much of a challenge as far as difficulty goes, but it's all about getting good again. Guys, it's about getting good again. Don't forget to click that like button, turn it blue, make it point up to the sky, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, don't forget to join me live. Check out my stream schedule down in the links of this very video. Moo Moo Meadows, here we go. Let us crank it up, let's do this. Getting good for the next Mario Kart stream. Now, I got to thinking about this series today. And I don't really, I'm going to continue this past Mario Kart. I'm going to find other games to get good at to make daily videos so that I think this will be like a vlog series for me on the channel. I think this will be fun. Gives me something to do while I'm vlogging. Gives you something to watch while I'm talking. And uh, we can talk about some fun subjects without it being too stressful, you know. And right now, I'm kind of stressed. Daisy is way ahead of me. Come on, Daisy. Get away. Come on. This is uh, 50 cc's bro. Come on. Get off it. So, something to talk about today, um, something that's exciting, is uh, yesterday, or no, day before yesterday. What day was it? Anyway, this week, Disney Plus went live. Disney Plus. I'm not sure if any of you guys have subscribed to Disney Plus, but I have. I got a free year through Verizon. So, thank you, Verizon, for hooking that up. One year for free. Then it's only $6.99 a month, right? And Disney had over 10 million subscribers on the first day. That is a major, major number. That's huge. Oh, yeah, see that? I held on to the shell I learned from last episode, which was last night. Um, so yeah, Disney Plus is pretty awesome. Uh, I've already watched Mandalorian. And, oh my god, that was excellent. Okay, give me a shell. I'll take that. Mandalorian was excellent, ladies and gentlemen. I loved it. I thought it was great. So, guys, if you've seen it, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I thought it was wonderful. Um, it was pretty awesome to see the old school stormtroopers. And it was kind of a neat vibe with it being right after... Uh, the events, well, not right after, but a few years after the return of the Jedi happened, Darth Vader got, you know, got killed on the Death Star. Palpatine got killed, supposedly. If 
you've, if you've watched the trailer for the new Star Wars, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but Mandalorian, really neat. It's worth your, worth your time. And it was only like a 30-minute episode, 38 minutes. Something like that. I wasn't expecting those to be an hour episode. So I'm kind of excited that it was a short episode because I prefer shorter episodes these days on TV shows. All right, we won our first race playing an old school track. I want to say that was on... The Nintendo 64 version of Mario Kart, but I could be wrong. I think it was. I think it tells you that at the bottom of the screen, but I didn't look. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, Mandalorian. Check it out. You'll love it. Um, I also saw that they had an original series about High School Musical. Who is... I'm not excited about... I can't be excited about anything High School Musical myself. But I will say that I think Zac, Zac Efron has really became a fine actor, especially a comedic actor. I think he's hilarious. Uh, he was in that movie uh, called Neighbors with Seth Rogen. And oh man, I'll tell you what, that was, that was a fine film. It was hilarious. He was also in Bad Grandpa, I think it was called Bad Grandpa with Robert De Niro. Oh wow, epic. But, yeah, oh. Uh, Oh, I just started thinking about Aubrey Plaza. Oh, man. She's so hot. Um, she's awesome in Parks and Rec, too. But anyway, <laughs> High School Musical presents a High School Musical something. I'll forget. It's got the words the words High School Musical in it like twice in the title of the show. Uh, so I won't be watching that, but I thought it was interesting that they got a show for it. Not a bad idea for Disney because it was a popular series. It's not for me, though. Um, not, not my kind of... Not my kind of viewing, but <laughs> if it's for you, that's awesome. You know, I'm not knocking. I just, no, thank you. Um, Disney Plus. One thing I'm excited about, and I think that some of you younger guys that watch these videos here need to think about, check out, is the old Disney afternoon block of TV shows that came out in the 90s. Oh, man, so awesome. You had Aladdin. You had, uh, I think, Goof Troop. But the, the mainstays, for me, the ones that I really appreciated and enjoyed were, of course, Darkwing Duck, which inspires my channel graphics right now. Uh, Darkwing Potato is the logo. That's what he's called, Darkwing Potato. You'll notice he's got the cape and everything. Um, the Darkwing Duck, my favorite. Darkwing Duck episodes on Disney Plus, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm freaking out. I've already watched about four or five. I'm loving it. Oh, I mean... <laughs> One thing I will admit, sadly, is I do own the Darkwing Duck episodes on DVD. But it's so much more convenient to have them on the uh, online that now I don't have to get my DVDs out. I can just leave them and they'll be in pristine condition because just in case. Just in case DVDs, I mean, uh, <laughs> live stream and stuff goes away. I don't know. Darkwing Duck Rescue Rangers. I want to catch up and watch that. Haven't seen Rescue Rangers in many years. Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers would be precise on the title. That one's going to be awesome. But that's a great show. Uh, Tailspin. It's got the characters from the Jungle Book. I'm hitting the button. Okay, there we go. Tailspin, if you didn't know, has the characters from Jungle Book. Baloo is the pilot. Oh, 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 Tailspin! Great theme songs. Then you got DuckTales. Hello, DuckTales. Woo! That is the best theme song of any cartoon ever. And super good. Oh, DuckTales. I know they actually have a new series out, so you, some of you guys are probably pretty familiar with DuckTales now. But it was an old 90s cartoon before. And it was just a really good show, man. They, Disney put a lot of production value into the Disney Afternoon lineup back in the day. I remember they were Disney... Um, was one of the first companies to make cartoons like that. You know, did uh, afternoon lineup. They were they they never wanted to do it, but then um, get the guy's name took over for president of Disney back in the '80s, mid '80s, early '90s. And he's the one that was like, "Hey, let's make an afternoon lineup," and it turned out to be wildly successful. Of course, cartoons work a lot different now because they have 
entire channels devoted to them. So it's to, to, to uh, put it in perspective. Whenever I got off school and got home, I had to. If I wanted to see those cartoons, one I had to hope the bus driver uh, stayed on schedule. I hope we didn't run into any issues getting home on the bus. Then rush inside and uh, hopefully not miss the beginning of the cartoon. But even if we did miss it, we still would watch the rest of it. Then we'd also get in trouble because mom would come home and we, instead of doing our homework, like we were supposed to. We we're like we we're watching Disney cartoons. So <laughs> the Disney afternoon lineup kept me from doing my homework in a uh, rapid fashion. Probably kept me from doing some chores and stuff as well. But thank God my mom was very lenient. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting a blue shell. Man, we're playing 50 cc, so. I think I'm going to do maybe two more videos. What the? They just. What the? Okay. They're getting aggressive again. So yeah, I was thinking about doing two more videos. I'm going to do two more videos. Um, I think I'm just going to, I think I, wow. I am getting destroyed on 50 cc's. What is going on here? What in the world? Is this happening right now? Is this really happening? Give me something. There you go. Man, they do, they were loading them guys up with freaking power up. The good stuff. Yeah, I like the, oh, I like how I just hung that curve. But yeah, Disney Afternoon Cartoons are on Disney Plus. So guys, check them out. Highly recommend. Uh, DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Rescue Rangers, Chippendales, Rescue Rangers, Aladdin. I probably, it's probably another one I'm forgetting about. Uh, they are so awesome. I'm also looking forward to watching a lot of the old Disney cartoons. And also, I can watch Aladdin on there anytime I want now. I can watch Aladdin on my phone. Although, I probably could already have done that because I do have a digital copy of Aladdin. But still, it's in the app. And I, get, I get the app for free for a year. Thank you, Brad. We win! I'm dominating. <laughs> yeah, it's not much of a, it's not much of a um, challenge, per se. Playing 50 CCs, unfortunately. So yeah, Disney Plus is huge. Uh, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what you are excited about for Disney Plus. If you've got to experience it yet, if you're going to get to experience it, or why you don't want to, just please let me know down in the comments below. Toast Turnpike, oh man. This is definitely Nintendo 64. This course is brutal on its own, but playing this on mirror mode back in the day, oh my god. I still gotta get the boosting down. I'm, I used to be good at that on the on my timings, but I'm just doing terrible now. I think um, I said I figured it out the other day on the stream, but I've forgotten now. I will admit, playing 150 CCs and then playing 50 CCs is quite the uh, big change of pace. It's more. I feel like I'm on a kiddie ride now, <laughs> playing on 50 CCs. So I'll probably do two more videos of 50 CCs. Uh, video. Now, I'll probably go through and beat all 50 CCs on my own after that. But that way, I can present to you guys some 150 CCs, so it'll be a little more exciting. A little more dangerous. So, I mean, this is kind of a slow pace, I understand. Although, it does give me a good opportunity to talk. Just kidding. So, yeah, I decided to use these videos as like a vlog series. And I hope you guys like that. I think... Um, since I'm going to do this daily, this will give me a good place to unwind a little bit, speak to you guys just about whatever. Ooh, surfboard. Uh, <laughs> trying to think of what else Disney Plus uh, has. Oh, i got to look and see if the movie Flight of the Navigator is on there. If it is, you must watch it. Fight of the Navigator. If it is, I'll link it down in the description of this video today, guys. I'll link you a direct link to Fight of the Navigator. That movie came out in the 80s, but it's about this boy who gets on a spaceship. Okay. And the spaceship is really smart. 
and it flies him around. And it's really, really awesome. The spaceship is cool. It's like a silver egg looking ship and it can turn invisible and stuff. Super cool. But The Flight of the Navigator is a really great movie though. The storyline and everything is surprisingly very, very cool. Now, I wish I could remember all the details about it. It's been a little bit since I've seen it, but it's super good. It's a Disney movie a lot of people forget about. And they're actually remaking it. Uh, I'm making a current day version of it, of course. They make a current day version of everything, but I'm excited to see what they do with it nowadays because back then, it was pretty cool for its time, but I think they could do a lot more with it. Flight to the Navigator. Who was in that movie? Somebody cool, there's somebody in that movie that's a, like a big star now, dude. But at the, to, at the time of the movie, he wasn't a big star. I can't think who it is. I don't know. So also, I want to see. I wonder if all the old Mickey Mouse Club uh, shows are on there. Not the Britney Spears version. They had the older version of it that was that I used to watch when I was a kid. It wasn't Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. I don't know. All right, Wario with the victory, dominant performance, with beautiful results, dominant performance in 50 CC. <laughs> but tonight we're gonna be playing, which of course is yesterday. Check out the replay of tonight's stream, uh, Thursday stream. Today's Friday. Check out the stream that was on last night. Super Mario Maker 2. I create my own level for the first time live with you guys. And I do that for Rage Given because I'm not sure how frustrating it's going to be. We'll see. Hopefully we can make a good one. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you tuning in for episode two of my Get Good Daily playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode. So thank, you for, thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Check out all the links in the description. See my friends. See all of my podcasts. Check all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Stay cool. Peace. I'm out.